Welcome to Electron Online. To give you a little foretaste of what we're going to be able to do with the Laplace transform, we're going to show you a small voltage divider, simple circuit with the resistor at the top here and a capacitor and inductor at the bottom. We're going to find the ratio of the output voltage versus the input voltage, and of course that's going to be proportional to the ratio of the resistance at the bottom part of the circuit divided by the the reactants of the bottom part of the circuit and the reactants of the total circuit. In other words, if we're going to find H in the S domain, then we're first going to find H in the frequency domain. So we can say that H in the frequency domain, as a function of the frequency, is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, V out divided by V in, which is going to be equal to the ratio of the reactants of the output voltage, which is going to be the x sub c plus x sub l divided by the resistance plus x sub c plus x sub l. And then if we write in what those are equal to in the time domain, and here I have a list of what there are in the time domain versus the s domain, which is the frequency domain, so we can write x sub c as 1 over omega c plus omega times l divided by r, because r is not affected by the frequency, so simply r is simply r in the s domain, plus omega l plus 1 over omega c. It doesn't really matter what order we put them in, and typically we write the l first and then the c later, so maybe I'll just go ahead and reverse the order of these, because that's typically the way we write it, so we write it as omega l plus 1 over omega c. So what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer that into the S domain. So H in the S domain is simply going to be this, but replaced with the equivalent in the S domain. So that would be SL plus 1 over SC divided by the resistance plus SL plus 1 over SC. And then since we don't like to have fractions here with s in the denominator we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by s so multiply the top by s multiply the bottom by s when we do that we get s square l plus 1 over c so now the s cancels out and in the denominator we get s times r plus s square l plus 1 over c and so now you recognize this as being a function in the S domain, which can then be uh, trans transferred back into the frequency domain using the inverse Laplace transform. But at least now you simply have an idea of how we can take circuits like this and write them simply in the S domain for then to find the frequency response in the time domain. What we can then recognize is that this here is called the system's frequency response. And then when we transfer that into the S domain, then here we call this the transfer function. At this point, we're not yet going to work this out. We still need to learn a few more techniques, so we'll show you in the next videos to come. But then eventually, we should be able to solve any sort of circuit like this using the Laplace transform. So here, at least, you get an idea of what we can do with the Laplace transform in electronic circuitry.